word from this video sponsor. Got an idea for a circuit, widget, or device that you want a rapid prototype or sell? Check out JLC PCB. They offer their board manufacturing services starting at two bucks for five boards and only take a few days from start to finish. Step one, log into the link in the description. Here you can upload your board files, select options like color, quantity, and even special features uh, for a variety of applications. Step two, complete the order process, and if your boards pass validation checks, then they'll immediately begin manufacture upon payment and shipping selection. Step three, profit. Here you can see they made 50 prototype boards for me in less than three full days. How crazy is that? So make sure to check out JLC PCB. And once again, thanks for making this video possible. Now let's get on with the video. So what I'm going to do now is it's all wired up, ready to go. So I wrote a batch script and all it does is um, it writes the high and low fuse values as well as the uh, bootloader hex file. And then it just sits there. So all I have to do then, double click this, this will pop up. It's writing to it as we speak. And there we go, we're all done. It's all flashed now, uh, so I can continue soldering the uh, rest of the components. And then once we get USB up and running, I can uh, solder the flash chip and put a bunch of games on this. So let's get to it. Okay, so I just finished soldering this guy. Everything's on there. Um, I attached a small uh, 220 milliamp hour uh, lipo, and that's going to be what goes uh, inside the the VMU case. I have a uh, USB. Just going to plug this in. Orange light comes on, meaning it's charging the battery. Okay, so let's flip the hard power switch on, and we just press the power button and it turns on and you can see it uh, showed up on COM67 as the Arduino Leonardo. Okay, so we're just going to go in here and I built a uh, flashcard image with a number of games. I'm just going to drag it on top of uh, Flashcard Writer, uh, the Python script that Blinky had uh, created and you can see it found my Arduino in COM67 and it's writing to the flash chip as we speak. You can see it flashes, uh, RX and TX go solid, they light up, and it flashes the RGB LED. 
And um, once it finishes, it says uh, complete in about 15 seconds, and the LED just starts strobing in RGB again, and the RX and TX lights go off. So right now, that means that um, this board has all the games stored on this little uh, flash chip there, and I'm um, going to let this charge up, going to wire up a screen to it, a, um, a 1306 a little uh, OLED screen and uh, run run this through a test. I also have to test all the buttons and stuff. Okay, so I soldered the screen in. Let's give it a power on test. There you go, it works. Absolutely tiny there. Forget what button to press. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it fully works. I need to get this in the case, obviously, and on top of that, solder the uh, wires for the piezo speaker. Okay, so here we are. I um, ended up soldering the piezo wires on, and those just go right underneath where the battery is located right now. And I just used a little bit of uh, double-sided foam tape to uh, stick the battery on there so it doesn't move around so much. Now, in order to get all this to fit, I did have to make some compromises, um, and also I made some mistakes on the board. Uh, these little cutouts uh, should be quite a bit deeper, uh, so what I ended up having to do is cut away uh, using some, some flush cutters, some side flush cutters. I had to cut away, there's a little bit of ribbing on each side of the, the screen, I had to uh, nibble that away. Additionally, um, all the holes were much too small, so I actually took a 316 drill bit and manually, uh, you know, with the with the drill, uh, drilled all the holes uh, just to make it um, fit a little bit better uh, because it it was like really super tight. So I'm gonna have to fix that on the um, the next revision. Additionally, the placement of the switch and the USB on the top, you can see they're kind of recessed. So that when I put the uh, the lid on, the switch you can get with your fingernail if you have a little bit of a fingernail. But the uh, USB um, is pretty tight. You can see it's like right up against the top. And um, I can only fit like really thin uh, USB cords like this will just barely fit. And um, anything thicker won't work. So what I'm going to end up doing is um, in the next revision, making this board jut out to the top, sit flush here. And then put the the um, you know both the switch and this port right on the outside so that you can actually use it. Additionally, I might put another switch on here in between um, the LED and whatnot so that you can mute and unmute the uh, the speaker in hardware. So I just have this speaker directly wired up. Um, it's a bit loud, so I probably will end up putting a resistor or something, or maybe if I could find a small enough. Um, potentiometer I could put it somewhere up top there so that you can adjust the volume but yeah anyway um, let's just get this guy together so additionally one mistake that I made this um, lipo charger chip that I have is just a little bit too close to the back support structure here so I actually had to um, to file a little bit of that away uh, so it'll fit. So in the next version, I'm going to actually push that inwards more so it doesn't foul on the case when it goes to shut. So yeah, let's continue screwing this together. Okay, so we're back together. Cap fits on, fun. Like I said, USB is a little bit tight, but it just barely fits with this one cord. Like all my other cords won't fit. <laughs> Yeah, you can see, plug it into a um, 5 volt, you know, micro USB cord and power supply, and you can see it charges there. It's charging the internal battery right now. Okay, so power switch is on. Good to go. Let's just switch it on. There you go. Kind of swamping out the screen there. The LEDs on the sides are a bit bright, so I'll increase the resistance on those. Um, should be an easy enough fix, so. Yeah, you can hear, auto fully works. Just playing circuit dude here. Yeah, everything works. Yep, 
yeah, anyway, you get the point. And we can just go back to the main menu here. And so, you can see, fully complete, fully working. This screen is uh, 0 0.9 inches. It's pretty darn small. It's 128 by 64. Um, so this is actually a bit smaller than um, the original RG Boy, which I believe had a 1.3, 1.2, or 1.3 inch screen. I can't remember exactly. So it's uh, noticeably larger than this. Uh, but all in all, this looks pretty nice. Speaker, LiPo, pretty much everything that you'd want. Soft power. And uh, hundreds of games. Actually, with the chip I put in, you could probably fit in over a thousand games. Yeah, the D-pad is a little bit sensitive, but I think um, I might be able to fix that um, mechanically or by um, putting metal domes on the uh, contacts uh, just to get everything situated properly. But anyway, yeah, you can see obviously I still need some sort of bezel, but that'll be easy enough to uh, fashion out of like a thin piece of plastic with um, black border to cover up everything that's not supposed to be exposed. Yeah. You can see here, beautiful, but yeah, anyway, um, if you guys are interested, um, I'm looking to get a uh, kit version of this PCB with all the, the fixes in place, so uh, what I'll end up doing is um, fix it, uh, get you know a few more made, um, and we can start selling this as a kit or whatever if you want to use this in your own um, your own BMU shell or whatever you want. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A uh, huge thanks to uh, um, GLC PCB for providing the PCBs, as well as um, the members of the Ardu Boy forums. I'll link them down below. Uh, they've been super helpful with um, technical info on how to uh, get all this working, how to get the uh, flash chip working, as well as um, several members who um, provide games, utilities, and all that to get all this up and running. So super huge thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.